Hi, I have another program from NCH Software, which is a company that made WavePad, which I've reviewed previously. If you have seen that, you may remember me saying that it that it's very full featured, but it uh, is not a multi track audio editor, which could be a little fiddly to do uh, various effects or whatever in your podcast. Um, so they have another program called MixPad, which is very, very similar to WavePad, but has multi track editing. As you can see here, lots of tracks here, and you can add more or delete some. Unlike WavePad, it has fixed one of the issues I didn't like in WavePad, which was this whole ribbon here would float as a separate window, and all the elements, such as this down here with the buttons for play and record, all separate elements, separate windows, and I didn't like it. This one, MixPad, is all integrated into one window. You have here some suggestions, such as record on the current track. You can just close that and get it out of the way. It is arranged as a ribbon bar, just like WavePad. You have your basic options here, such as record, or open a project, save a project, and preferences. Preferences, you can select your playback device, or use system default. You can choose a metronome sound, you can do message alerts, you can select project settings here, such as 44100 Hz for CD quality, or DVD and Blu-ray quality of 48000, or some others. You can also set up a MIDI hardware control, control controller there as well. Let's just cancel. Next tab, you can do your recording from there. You can hit record clip. You can re-record. You can go to all audio options, audio options for it. You can mute solo, grid lines. You can you can do your metronome from there. You can also go to editing and undo, redo, do your history, do your cut, cut copy and paste those sort of things. You can cut your regions, trim your regions. Uh, silence a region, split the clip into multiple clips, join the clips together, merge clips, stretch and shrink your clips, and edit your clips from there. Next you have track. This is where you can insert a track. You can add more tracks here, although it, by default there is quite a few. There's like about five or six. You can delete a track here. You can rename a track. So by default, each track is just titled Untitled Track. Well, you can rename it from here. You can move a track up or down in the order, so you can reorder it from there. You can expand a track, you can collapse a track, change the track color, add automation, which gives you volume and pan automation, or delete the automation. You can go to clip, which is where you can record again, uh, so it's in several places. You can load a clip, create a MIDI, you can select track clips, select all the clips, move to start, move to where the cursor is, you can split and stuff like that there as well, a lot of similar options. You can also get to effects from here. Now I will note that even though this is a very similar program to WavePad, it doesn't have every single effect. Um, you have a lot here, you have amplifier, you have your compressor, you have your crossfade, distortion, echo, equalizer, you have your pitch correction, reverb, auto duck and you even uh, have your effects chain so it's basically where you create your own preset of effects so so if you always apply say an amplify then a compressor then an echo you can put that in an effect chain and it apply it without having it select them individually um, if we go to tools you have your mixer there you have your beat designer your clip manager your bookmarks your effect chains there and your pitch correction is there as well you can go to mixing which basically is to export or upload to things like soundcloud or export into a video You've got the mixer and the crossfades fade in fade out is also available from there as well sweet is just basically shortcuts to any of their other programs you may have installed so if you have wavepad installed or if you have uh, video pad installed you basically can access it access it from here then you have a custom tool set where you can customize it with what tools or effects you want from here you can get to some edit options very basic uh, track options a lot of the op same options as can be found in the ribbon the same with most of these options up here most of these most of these are this is sort of stuff you can find in the ribbon anyway. Under effects, one effect that I've noticed straight away is missing 
is noise reduction. So basically, if you take a look at WavePad, or if you're familiar with WavePad, this is WavePad, but with multi-track abilities put in. Which do I recommend, MixPad or WavePad? Personally, I would pick WavePad as it is a full, very full-featured audio editor like you'd expect, such as from something like Audacity or Adobe Audition. It is very, very full-featured. It even has noise reduction where you can take a sample of noise and then it will sample that to know what the noise is and you can apply the noise reduction from that into the whole file or whatever. Not all audio editors have noise reduction, including some that you pay for, such as Twisted Wave on Mac or Sound Studio on Mac. You'll be surprised by how many audio editors don't have that basic feature of noise reduction. This doesn't either, yet Wave Pad does. So, unless you really, really can't live without this muddy track features, I would say go with Wave Pad. What I would like to see done is I would like to see the good points from there, such as the all-in-one window design and the multi-track features and ability at just integrated into WavePad instead and maybe sort of abolish this MixPad. Just add these features into WaveLab Master Edition and just sort of have it as one program. But there is a there is a trial available, so I recommend you try out both and see what you think for yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And if you could do me a huge favour and subscribe, as it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot. Thanks.